So the William Hill Handicap Hurdle is next in. This is a two mile hurdle. And it's a 0-1, 20 for four year olds. And it's a Tony Stern Test, David Robertson. Richard Woodmark for Derek Hinton. Jacques Montreal for Darren Thompson. Lady Lily for Marta Leader. Marekka Mawson for Derek Hinton. Frozen Rose for Graham Clutterbuck. Exemplus for Tam King. Red Ambition for Kevin Meenahan. Empire Nation for Daniel French. Herbert for James Follis. Tramp for Stu Gray. And Twix for Alex Cherry. So 12 of the mint. Nice size field for this two mile hurdle. Away they go. And Empire Nation just about the first to show. Not too many of the really big trainers in this as it's a 0 to 120. But it's Empire Nation who's got the lead, racing down towards the first of nine flights. And over it they all go. Empire Nation the leader from Red Ambition and Twix. And Exemplus is the grey. Herbert in the blue jacket. And Richard Widmark and Stern Test with Jacques Montreal on the wide outside with the white sleeves as they take number two. Straight will be the Final flight on the next circuit. I think it might be the second last flight. I think it's probably the final flight looking at the way they're going. And it's Empire Nation that's in the lead then. As they come past the stand, they'll be passing the winning post shortly, and Empire Nation is the leader from Exemplet in second. Then Herbert is third, Stern Test is four, then Richard Woodmark in the pink jacket is five with Red Ambition wide on the track six. Then comes Twix in the orange sleeves, Lady Lilith is behind that one in the purple colours, Tramps in the dark colours on the inside, the white sleeves on the outside of Jacques Montreal, American Mawson in the pink jacket trying to come between the two, and Frozen Rose, the Graham Clutterbuck grey is the back marker as they take the third flight, and they're all safely over that one, with Empire Nation showing the way home by three lengths to Stern Test in second, Red Ambition in third, then Richard Woodmark and Exemplus, they make their way towards the next then, and everything seems to be going well within itself at the moment, as they take number four, good quick jump by the leader, Taking another length out of the field, and Empire Nation's now five clear of Stern Test in second. Then Red Ambition has been pushed along a little bit there with the orange cap. Just behind that one is Richard Woodmark, the orange sleeves of Twix on the outside as they take number five. Leader didn't jump that one quite as fluently as he jumped the one before, and the lead is now down to a couple of lengths. It's Empire Nation though who still has that lead from Red Ambition in second. Then Richard Woodmark, Twix is coming around the outside. Stern Test is going to try and go up the inside, making a forward move. Is Tramp Jacques Montreal? Just about heads the second group or about a length or so behind the lead in six or seven, and it's Empire Nation who's still the leader then with just about six furlongs to go. Six furlongs almost to go then, and Empire Nation comes to the sixth then skips out of that jump that one really well from Stern Test in second. Herbert now looks a big danger on the outside in third. Then Trump is four. Red Ambition just caught a bit flat footed. Richard Woodmark needs a little bit of racing room. Then Twix, Lady Lilith is trying to run on. Then Jacques Montreal and the back three of Frozen Rose as they take the third last. And over that one they all go. And it's Empire Nation in the lead from Richard Widmark and Herbert. Empire Nation still appears to be going well with himself in the lead. Leads by a couple of lengths as they start to make the turn towards home. Two more flights of hurdles to take. And Empire Nation's clear. Trump now comes out of the pack, throwing down a big challenge. Then Stern Test and Richard Widmark. Then Twix. Red Ambition's dropping away. Then Herbert. Gap back to Lady Lilith and the remainder. But it's Empire Nation in the lead. Now being pressed by Trump over the second last. And Empire Nation now challenged by Trump. And Trump goes on. Empire Nation now being overtaken by Trump. Trump's a good length clear as they come down towards the final flight. It's Trump in the lead from Empire Nation. Then Stern Test and Richard Widmark up the final flight. Trump takes it well. Empire Nation second. Ruffy's going to get to this. Trump, I don't think. Trump is still in front. There's still a fur on the go though. And now Stern Test tries to pull down a big challenge. Trump is beginning to struggle. Trump's in the lead from Empire Nation and Stern Test but Trump's just holding on up towards long. This is going to be another one for Stern. I think we've lost sight of them. And now Stern Test lunges and Stern Test steals it on the line. Trump second, Empire Nation third, Spoo will be splitting feathers as he gets collared on the line, the uphill finish at Ascot, the undoing of Trump, and Stern Test needed the Stern Test, took the Stern Test and passed the Stern Test, Empire Nation back in third, and it's a win for David Robertson. Take a look at the full connection. Stern test for David Robertson, the winner. Tramp for Stu Gray was second. Empire Nation for Daniel French was third. Richard Widmark, Derek Hinton, fourth. And Herbert for James Follis was fifth. A good performance there by the top weight.